What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Equal Espresso, and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. The first Infinite Warfare video in a couple of days now, actually, and I'm kind of okay with that, at least on my end. I'm having a lot of fun playing around with Black Ops 3 Modern Warfare Remastered and just kind of doing some things here with this. There wasn't too much to talk about within Infinite Warfare, but today in this one, we're going to be taking a look at Tactical Team Deathmatch, the brand new game mode and feature coming within the game now. It's live for everybody, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC, so if you guys want to hop in it, it definitely is worth the try. I had a ton of fun on it, and admittedly, I haven't played Infinite Warfare in, honestly, probably over a week if not maybe a little bit more. It just hasn't been too much of anything that I've really wanted to hop on and grind at the very moment, but giving Tactical TDM a chance was actually really fun. I had a couple of games under my belt with it and I decided I wanted to hop on. The game player gonna be watching in the background actually is my first game on in about a week, maybe a week and a half here, and it turned out a lot better than I thought it would to be honest, but it is a lot of fun. Once again, it slows down the movement because for those of you guys that have not heard what Tactical TDM is or can't tell by the gameplay, there's no double jumping, there's no thrust jumping, there's no advanced movement or anything like that. That thruster movement. The only thing you can do is wall run, which does help you get up to some spots, but it really, in all reality, isn't that much of advantageous movement whenever you go in and actually fine comb all the details out here of what you can do with it. But overall, it slows the game down a little bit. Another additional thing is the fact that the damage has been slightly altered. Headshots, I'm not entirely sure if it's a one shot. I know I've gotten a lot of headshots where it almost felt like a one shot, but it might have been a one to the body, one to the head type of thing here with it where there's a slight damage increase but not by much so it's kind of that in between working middle ground between core and hardcore if you want to put it that way and it's definitely something that if you guys like to go into gunfights and play some classic call of duty this is the closest you'll get to it within infinite warfare advanced warfare tried to do something like this here as well but this definitely feels more like a classic call of duty than that of the classic mode in advanced warfare so i think this one was actually really well done and how it was brought out and brought about in Infinite Warfare, and I'm really hoping that as of right now, it seemed like it was pretty easy to find a match. I'm hoping that it stays that way because there is a lot of fun to be had here with this, I think, if you want to compare it to Call of Duty in the previous years. This is definitely something that is more like that than, say, what was in, once again, the classic mode of Advanced Warfare, and certainly with all the wall running and stuff now, it is definitely a lot more classic than it is in the base game of Infinite Warfare. So, with it being a featured mode at the very moment, I couldn't tell you if it's going to be something that stays the entire year of Infinite Warfare, but if it does, hopefully it, once again, does not lose population, because I personally think it's a great addition here with it. If it's that middle ground where people can play the newer game, but they don't necessarily have to deal with the thruster movement that so many people seem to not like, which is definitely something that would please the crowd a little bit here with it, if you want to put it that way. And I think it's definitely something that could be very advantageous to the game's marketing overall. The other flip side to this, though, is that because it's a featured mode, it won't be here forever, which is something that might be good, but it might be bad, but probably more so on the bad end, in my mind at least. The only way that I can see this working out to be something good if they do remove it is that it could be a special limited edition type of thing where they take it out and then they hype it up for its release again, and then more people come in and it bumps that population up a little bit. So that's the only real thing that I could see working in favor of taking it out, but hopefully it just doesn't come to the fact where it becomes stale and you have to do that in the first place. But that I think is we're gonna wrap it up. Once again, just wanted to showcase this here, short, simple, and sweet, a little bit of the tactical TDM. Definitely try it out if you guys are still playing Infinite Warfare. Once again, I'm not really playing Infinite Warfare all that much, but I wanted to give it a try and it definitely held my attention. So I think it's worth a shot here. And if you guys are interested, definitely give it a shot for yourself. But that's, we're gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything Infinite Warfare and Call of Duty in general. But thank you dudes so much for watching. My name is Nicolai Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.